Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 29 of Eagle News. Today is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020, nine days until Halloween. Happy National Nut Day. My name is Addie. And my name is Josie. This year, our Hyatt's Diversity Club and PRISM student clubs are not able to meet in person this year due to limits on gatherings and distancing. You have an opportunity to join the school-wide book club this year. You'll read books with diverse characters and themes each quarter. Also, students, make sure you get a physical turned in for basketball tryouts. Basketball tryouts will be held October 26th to the 28th. There will be another open gym today for the 7th graders after school at 3, 3 to 5 p.m. Remember that you need to have a fi on file your athletic COVID waiver, an updated physical, and your final forms filled out online. The Thur Thurbo House is offering a wide variety of writing and workshops in November, and they all are virtual. You can learn about National Novel, Novel Writing Month, Novel. experience creative writing, or explore writing this song lyrics. Check out your Schoology wall for the link for more details. As we pass the middle of the month, the Citizen of the Month for all the teams will be announced on Eagle News. Our first Citizen of the Month will be announced tomorrow and Monday, starting with the 6th grade award. We look forward to presenting these awards to you on Eagle News. Now let's look at our first video of the day at the girls' Berlin soccer game. Here's the, filled, here's the reporter filled by the one and only me, Josie. Reporting live at Berlin High School, where the Berlin Bears are playing Dublin Sayona. The score currently is 0 1, and there's 20 minutes left in the second half. The Berlin Bears are playing strong. They've kind of dominated this entire game. <laughs> What a great game. Thanks, Josie, for taking us along. I loved it. Now let's head to Isabel and the Eagle News Weather Report Station for today's weather. Thanks, Josie. Today in Powell, we have a high of 76 degrees. Wow, it's actually going to be warm. The low is going to be 57 degrees. There's going to be no rain today, but it's sure going to be windy. We got lucky today with the warmth, but it is getting colder every day. So make sure to bring a jacket or a sweatshirt with you, Eagles. Let's head back to the newsroom with Addie and Josie to see what Mr. Matt is best thing, best thing he found on the internet last night. Wow, Isabel, that was a great weather report. I can't wait for this warm weather today. Get outside and run around the block and get some sun. Our next segment for the Eagle News today is Mr. Beto's best thing on the internet. For today's video, have you ever seen a volcano erupt? Well, check out this vi volcano called Sakurajima. There sure is a sight. Enjoy this fun video. Why can't you twist a taco? Hmm, I'm not sure why. Because they tend to spill the beans. <laughs> Speaking of food, let's head to the hallway with Brooklyn for today's lunch report. Roll it. For lunch today, you can get nachos, a chicken sandwich, or Papa John's pizza. Get the assortment of fruit and vegetables and your choice of milk. Thanks for that lunch report, Brooklyn. T today's lunch sounds great. Don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. We don't want those germs. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Teachers, Mr. Meta is looking for some more of that great stuff that you are doing in the classroom. Two quick sentences and a couple of pictures texted or emailed to him, and we will share the great work on the news. Keep sending them us memories that we can share from your classroom. It's now time for trivia. Let's hear what the question of the day is in the Eagle News Trivia Studio. Thank you, Josie, and welcome to today's trivia here at Eagle News. The number one answer from Tuesday's news was bottle for 70 points. Remember, teachers, that you need to text Mr. Meta the answer to earn your points for today's show. Today's trivia question is, name something that parents tell their children not to touch. Again, name something that parents tell their children not to touch. Our only sports report today is about the World Series and Major League Baseball. Game one of the Fall Classic was on Tuesday night with two different teams coming from two different places. The Dodgers had spent the most money in the NFL and the Tampa Bay Rays have only one of the lowest payrolls in the league. Well, last night the Dodgers defeated the Rays 8-3. to three. For our final video segment, Kate and Isabel went around the school taking pictures of students doing their favorite poses. I can't wait to see everyone's pose. Let's go check it out. Thank you, Isabel and Kate. I think Josie and I poses were the best. I agree. I think it's time to learn about some hi history, more specifically this day in history. Let's head to Isabel to talk about today in today's day in history. On October 22, 1797, the first successful parachute descent was made by André Jacques Garnerin, who jumped from a balloon over Paris. Garnerin attached the parachute to a hydrogen balloon and ascended to an altitude of 3,200 3, feet. He then climbed clambered into the basket and severed the parachute from the balloon. Now let's head back to this newsroom for today's inspirational quote. Thank you, Isabel. That's all we have today for today's episode of Eagle News. But before we go, we want to share with you our quote of the day. The hero's journey is not a summit to reach, but a summit that, when you reach it, shows you new summits in front of you waiting to be conquered. Wow, what a beautiful quote of the day. My name is Josie. My name is Addie. And my name is Isabel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching today's news. Have a great rest of your Thursday. Eagles, keep on being extraordinary. Bye! Bye.